Let's deal with that. Ask the apothecary to tie about banishing ghosts. I had to get around to that. That person had a freaking poltergeist problem. Got a little sidetrack with other stuff. It's hard. It's... It's interesting. This game has some attempts at dealing with like, Hey, time limits. You better deal with this within a time limit. But also it, d it uses the traditional RPG approach of doing quests that send you to other locations where other you'll encounter other quests, but you'll encounter those quests while you're already on another quest. So then the whole thing of like being interrupted missed quest by other quests is normal for uh, most games, but in this game it poses a risk because getting interrupted by another quest means that you could fail one quest or another but when you're taking them all on. In which case, I guess the way to take care of that would be to make a mental note of a potential quest location, but then actively ignore it because it might accidentally start or something. It's, uh, it's different. Energy and nourishment are both way up there. Oh, let's get my torch out before somebody arrests me. Hi, don't worry about me. Don't arrest me, please. Just gotta go talk to the apothecary, who chances are will not be accessible at the moment. Just had to get here just in time for crap o'clock, right? What am I dressed like right now? I'm dressed like person clothes and not armor man. How are you, Henry? How are you, Henry? Greetings, Henry. Henry. So many people it's kind of incredible how much the uh, everyone being all like, glad to see you, Henry. Hey everyone, it's Henry! Uh, applies to combat now. If both sides of a people are all gonna side against me at the same time, it's basically the same principle. Hey everyone, it's Henry! Kill him. Hey, you're awake. Hello, awake man. Do you know anything about getting rid of wandering souls? The restless dead? I might know a bit about that. It depends who wants to know. I wouldn't want to be accused of heresy. Oh, come now, Konyash. You helped me once before, so I'd like to ask you for something again. Fine. You're right, Henry. I won't lie to you. I'm interested in occult teachings and a bit of alchemy. It's far more than just old wives' tales. I truly believe it's a science. So what exactly do you need? To help a village woman from Ledechko. Her neighbor's ghost has been haunting her. He visits her every night. You don't say. Now this is interesting. Revenant spectral beings, cursed souls from beyond the grave. Yes, exactly. Her house is haunted. To put it vulgarly, my lad, to put it vulgarly. But there are spells that can banish restless souls back to the realm of the beyond. Now that's what I wanted to hear. And do you know the spells? Well, I'd like to learn at least one. But the only book I know that contains them has been classified amongst the Libri Prohibiti. I've no idea what that means. The spell's written in a forbidden book. A book that's in Latin and kept under lock and key in the monastery. It's called Liber de Mortuis, Necronomiconos. Do you need to know any more? I was gonna say, I immediately knew exactly what he was saying. It just means forbidden book, but I guess we, we're talking about a guy that just learned how to read like last week. We're gonna get the Necronomicon? That's where we're going with this? Alright. Uh... Do you want me to steal the book? If you want to get rid of that revenant, you have no other choice. When you bring me that book, we can cast the spell together, since you don't know Latin. Fine. I'll bring the book. You'll find it in the monastery library. But it won't be easy to get in. Truth be told, I don't know of anyone who is able to break in. And out. Without getting into big trouble. I'll try. And then he reported me. The end. Great. After a whole game of not really learning how to be a stealthy sneaky man, uh, our next mission's pointing us there. Maybe I can ask around though, and maybe there's a another way of approaching it besides the first thing he comes up with. Get the book, the Nec Necronomicon. Yeah, easy said, easy done. Is it right here? I suppose where else would it be? Give me a second. I'm gonna try to 
refresh the way that this game is rendering. There we go, that's better. No, not necessarily. Uh, I'm getting really weird refresh issues. It's fine. I'll deal with it. The book that's banned... Is it local local or what? Good day, Henry. Here's the monastery. Oh wait, was it a new quest? Let me double check because I made this mistake before. None of these quests have to do with the Necronomicon. No. I don't have a new quest related to it. Good health to you, Henry. Good health to you. It's very echoey in here, isn't it? Hello? Don't mind me. I would just like to find where you keep the Forbidden Library. With the monks. Do you keep it up here? Nobody tell anyone I'm here. It doesn't say I'm not allowed in here yet. Oh. I just... Alright. Just a door I can't use. Weird. Really unusual for the game to have a door that is is uh, either is anything other than just straight up open, openable or locked. Like a total lack lack of interaction is strange. Yeah, there's really nothing in here, especially with that. Mysterious locked door, huh? I think I might have to go on another long trek. Let's plan for that, I suppose. I think that's what they mean by the monastery? Like, he he seemed unhelpfully vague when he just said, The monastery, and I was like, excuse me? But I, I think he says, the, ma the monastery, in such vague and unhelpful terms, because there's one monastery. I think that might be the only one, and so that's, it's thought it'd be nearby or something, but nope. Going on a grand trek all through the night across the map, which, given the perks I have for dealing with energy and nourishment and stuff like that, I, I'm honestly fine. It seems at times like I can just get away with running away around for 24 hours a time. Run away, succeed. Oh, I guess I got away. Uh, but yeah, I, I could just stay awake all the time, seemingly, with not a lot of consequence, so I'm fine. So where's the library? It's still night out, which is probably the best time to try to break in. Like a scum lord. This could go very poorly. Alright, so immediately we have a very hard lockpick. Uh, do I know anything about the local area? Not helpful. Is that on, that's the that's the zoomed in map. Well, that's all. I can probably can't ignore that whole zone. Focus on this one. But from there, you don't have much to go on as far as where the library is. Partly just trying to see if there's any part of this place I can even 
access myself. Very hard lockpick in most directions. What if I use the ladder? I bet that if I climb the construction, I can find a way in. But my issue is, where does the you're in trouble zone start? Really? You can't go through there? Seems like the whole point of that little platform is to let you through it. Come on. Not exactly inconspicuous with my with my uh, giant torch out as I do this, but I don't see a reason to take put it away at the moment because I am not yet in a place where the game considers me to be out of bounds. I hear people. Very abrupt beginning of hearing people chant. Did it just hit the morning? Not quiet, but kind of. Kind of a yes and a no, really. Maybe they just charted, started chanting, or maybe I just hit the zone. I'm not really sure. I don't have a lockpick, do I? Might have to check the horse. Right, when I was in Rate, I should have been spending stuff. I do have lockpicks. Let's move those to my inventory for my benefit, but I don't think I want these on that random chest. I was really hoping for building access. It's not necessarily happening, is it? <laughs> this could go so bad. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm fine. Kind of. Ow, not really. I'm marginally okay. I'm trespassing. I'm in, That's a big no-no symbol. It's a pretty clear indication I'm not supposed to be here. No, not that. I don't want to put the torch away entirely. Oh god, it got loud. Ow, more damage. Oh, now I'm bleeding. Not in a good spot at the moment. What are you looking for? He can't see me. I'm super secret. Well, then. You aren't allowed here. Shit. I will make sure you leave the hard way. That was a threatening thing for someone like him to say. You don't move a muscle. I think I'm in trouble. All right. Well. Hey, calm down. I surrendered. Jesus. You've been lurking around where you don't belong and ignoring warnings. It's jail for you. And I hope you rot there. Oh my god, can it? Can this work? You're making a serious mistake. If only you knew what you've just got yourself into. This won't end well for you. <laughs> oh, you'd make a stuffed bird laugh. But that won't help you much. Jail? Alright, let's go and get it over with quick. Just the accommodation for you. Get moving. Not off to our best start, are we? How would I even figure out where to begin to go? Is there a way to find out the layout of the building? Or where in the building the library even is? Or where in the library the Necronomic- Like... 
literally immediately I kind of inched around a corner and immediately cover was blown because the game doesn't really have like wacky stealth mechanics where uh, people are hard like are bad at detecting you but also my stealth skills pretty bad I'm tr it says I'm trespassing right now oh and pray you never come back here again or you'll see my ugly side or you'll see my ugly side. Alright. Well, we make a habit of getting imprisoned, so it's fine. Did I even lose money, or did I just lose time? And get the debuff? Which, I mean, the debuff's not great, but... Do I lose any income? I have 3.3k. Um, my charisma's 15. I'm sure that being in prison doesn't help your charismatic everything, really. It may have been my mistake that the sun was already coming up, kind of. There might be a better time of day to try to do that. In a context where, like... Let's see, am I at the right place still? Yeah. Just a while away. There might be a better time of day to give it a go. Where you actually get away with it. My energy is l doing actually still fine. It's my nourishment that took the big hit. What's a bit rough is that it's just this giant, unwieldy building, and I don't know how to navigate it or what I'm looking for necessarily. Henry, I... Besides, you know, library, but don't know how to where to expect it. I've never been in a monastery before. Is it? Were you the potion guy? I was supposed to check with somebody to see how they're doing, right? You saved me. You've no idea what you've done for me. Oh God, thank you. I didn't do that much. You did more than anyone else here. I'm sorry, I've got no money to repay you. But I can tell you a secret. How workers like me keep up backbreaking labor day after day. You've reached a new level in vitality and got a new perk point. There we go. So he couldn't give me, ex he couldn't give me any money, but he was able to train me, basically. Neat. What do I have access to here? Blood Rush. After beating your first opponent, the power of your attacks will increase for a while and your stamina will regenerate faster. Neat. That's good for multi-enemy groups. As soon as your health falls to a minimum, you go berserk and your stamina regenerates four times faster. That's the one where you can't where you can eat spoiled food. That's if you just don't mess up your food for five days straight, you get a small bonus. Let's do Blood Rush. That seems like it'd be quite helpful to me. Neat. Gotta poke around. By chasing him for it. No, it's better never to lend money to Ken. It's always a nuisance. That's just what I said to him. Oh? How'd he take that? He took it. Well, like a man. It was the wife that flew into a rage. Called me a tight-assed old stinking billy goat. I'd never hear the end of it if I didn't lend him the coin. I'd like to have seen that. Well... At least he paid it back in the end. He did. But I said he might throw in a groschen or two more for all the time I had to wait. Did you and he nearly bit my head you, then. <laughs> Don't <laughs> even remind me. Eh? I've Isn't never seen God's such a shoddy truth. piece of work in my life. I had to get it put right after him. Out of control. I'm curious about this guy because he's a stonemason. That means you can talk to him and that's stonemasonry over there. I'm like, maybe he, maybe he has an in. Mind out. Something will fall on you if you don't move. Okay, I mean, I'm not that close to the spot, but okay. Mind out! Something will fall on you if you don't move. Alright. Nope, they just say stonemasony things, basically. And that's it. Can't open that door. A monastery is a big place to look for a librarian. I want to see if it's anywhere outside of the walled-off crazy area. Because that place sucked. Yo, in a private area. Oh, Monk's Habit. I wonder if that's any good for, like, blending. Or if it's just good for me getting getting me caught, but for wearing something I've stolen. 
These guys are... Oh, they do have benches. I thought they were sitting on nothing. Very hard lock picking. Did the music get kind of... Like, intense all of a sudden? Mind out? Something will fall in if you don't move. Hi, I'll leave. Sorry, I didn't see the icon at first. Are you serious? I didn't mean to. Hard. Oh, library. Does anyone see me right now? I don't think they do. I've already read The Groom and the, and the Apprentice. How are there no books in this library? What the fuck? That's weird, right? These are... Just a history of transactions. Listen, I'm not below being a, th uh, a, th a thief or uh, books, so this whole thing's normal for me. Seriously, do they only have like cobwebs and the same thing, the same book repeating? Huh. This lock's too difficult. So I can't lock pick doors like that. Hi, you don't see me. I'm so secret. They never even saw me. Hello? Man, I'm sly. Alright. Shh. Well, I can't lock pick a hard lock. I don't even know the requirement for that. Let's see, strength, ability, will it be a skill? Uh, over here. Lock picking, rank zero, great. Great. I've made zero, it's my lowest level skill in the entire game along with pickpocketing. And stealth's pretty close. I don't know if it'll be possible to steal it. This might be a dead end quest. I don't know if my character's build allow has a, a route to this quest. Like some some quests have a different way of being solved for each character build type. Like sometimes you can sweet talk your way into out of problems, and sometimes you can steal, and sometimes you can kill, or whatever, or do a, a, fa a favor for someone. And in some games, in some quests, uh, you, there is no solution for problems. You didn't hear me. That just seems to be a guard post. I don't think that's going to go anywhere. This may be an entirely moot point. That seemed to be the library at the very least. Whereas the, the cloister itself seems less helpful. So maybe you need to lockpick through the door. Can't use that door, it needs, it needs lock picking. God damn. They're really consistent about the lock pick doors. Isn't that curious? I assume I can't go in here. Hey. Yep. Hey, who's there? Hey, who's there? But that might be access. This guarded, half-constructed spot. But if it is, we may need to wait until Damn. late at night.
Late. You can't sleep longer than that. It's impossible. No one's ever done that. Something had to be wrong with you. Did you sleep like that? You all right, boy? This may be a moot point. This may not accomplish anything. Probably gonna wait a little longer to get a little closer to midnight-ish. I figured I'd at least max out my energy meter. Can't eat for now. Are the guards here all day and all night? Thought they might eventually wander off. Hi. How do you do? How do you feel about like two o'clock in the morning? Henry's a vet, evidently a very patient man, is what we're learning. He'd have to be, probably. Yep, yeah, same as before. Well, shit. I don't think I can just outrun them. We tried dropping over the walls and I just got a leg injury and that meant that I couldn't walk around. Getting a leg injury means that you go so slow that you can't even try to stealth. Every other door requires a, a hard or very hard lock that I've encountered. I don't think there's anywhere else to try. I think this is it. I think this is just a quest I can't do. All the workers are gone, but the... Uh, the guards are not, and I don't think I can lose them reasonably. I mean, do you think they ever turn their backs? Um, how's my noise stat? 60. That's not great. Wow, that one piece counts for a lot of my noise. Noise 11. A lot better. Hey. hey, what are you playing? Who are Im you? Literally immediately, not even trespassing yet. Just start crouching, and they freak out immediately. Where the hell were you brought up? Don't you know you have to have a light after dark? Shit, sorry. You didn't, you didn't see that. Sorry, I was trying to be a sneaky, stealthy man. Jeez. Well, might as well go on to this then. Acquire Layman Procopius's tooth. For this lunatic guy we met. I'm curious about this quest overall. And I'm fairly convinced I'm not de going to be able to accomplish anything related to. Where the hell's my horse? There you are. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to do this quest. Or at least I have no idea what to do or how to proceed. So goodbye, Necronomicon. You sounded probably exciting or something, but I don't know if we'll ever have see what happens next there. Since it seemingly might require me to grind skills that I haven't even begun to develop, even slightly. What's your name? You're just villager. Is someone in here named Procopius? Hey! Henry's come to see us! What do you want here? Hop it, or I'll call a guard. That was weird. The basically sleeping guy just screams, Hey! Henry's come to see us! As I'm not allowed to be there. Hey, which one of you is named Procopius? I'm gonna run at you all real quick until I find him. I found him. I found him. Procopius, get up, stand up faster, I'm trying to talk to you. I'm trying to talk to you, please. Well then. Procopius! God damn it, Procopius. You're gonna get me in trouble, Procopius. Rather, it's rather, that's really Procopius of you. I don't know what that means. Probably. I'll try to track him, out, track him down during the day, apparently. This isn't going so well. A 
word with you. A word with you. Do you know who I am? With you, Henry. Farmhand, you said a word with me? God's blessings. What can I do for you? Uh, you said a word with me. Do you want something? I do. And you look like the kind of fellow who knows a thing or two and wouldn't mind a bit of work that's not entirely... Well... Honest. Me? Dishonest work? You must have mistaken me for someone else. Oh, I see. My apologies. God save. Reoccurring thing, people just saying these hurtful things about me. You look like a man who's up for some dishonest work. I'm like, excuse me? No, I'm looking for Procopius. I want to rip his tooth out or something, I guess. This is, which is honest work, because reasons. All right, getting stuck on things. God be with you. You look identical to like seven people I've talked to before, I, I think. It doesn't look good. What? What are you talking about? Your tooth. I bet it hurts a lot, doesn't it? How do you know about that? As a practitioner of the healing arts, I recognize the signs of a sick tooth. You have a bloated face, you're sweating, and the way you breathe is absolutely typical of the condition. You're a physician? Isn't that what I said? And if I can give you some advice, you should have it removed. There's a blacksmith down in the town. No, no, no. There's no way I'm putting myself in the hands of that butcher. I understand. But look here. I know about healing. I can go along with you and make sure everything goes as it should. You do that? For a job. Of course. Jesus Christ. I'm a grown man and I need an escort. You don't have to be embarrassed. Every man in the world's afraid of having his teeth pulled. I know, but even so... Let's go then, and get this over with. Hey, that's an unexpectedly easy solution. A word with you. Oh, that's the guy that's like, hey, steal from me or something. He's, he's stalking me about now. I said lead him to the blacksmith, but I think I can just follow him to the blacksmith. He probably knows how to get there. I'm not near you. Stop talking to me. How are you, Henry? Uh, I've been with you this whole time. Glad you learned my name, though. I didn't tell you, though. You know, in most Jesus. narratives, it's going to be really painful, isn't it? In most narrative situations, people panic when somebody re when they realize that somebody knows their name and they didn't tell them. Don't worry. It will hurt a little, but then you'll feel relieved. You'll see. If you say so. Damn. It will be painful. The tooth being ripped out. I mean, I haven't done it. Especially not, like, awake or anything. But, uh... In uh, Outcast, the dude went freaking unconscious. So that's not a great sign. Although he did use an ice pick. I mean, an ice skate. The movement speed of escort characters. To be fair, he is he's making a decent pace. For like a normal walking person. He's not lagging really. It's just this is what my joystick moves at. <laughs> We're gonna rip bones out of your face. Out of your face. Out of your face. You freaking out? It's fine. You don't need that bone anyway. You got dozens more. That's why, right? How far away is the blacksmith in this town? I'm starting to wonder now. Is he, is he flickering between being A and B? Look at the the the, uh, the icon on top of the screen. It's flickering between A and B constantly. Acquire the tooth, lead him to the blacksmith. Okay, it's because both objectives are are okay, mapped as being him. 
So it's just sort of flickering between the two because it doesn't know which one to show primarily. Oh, did you stop? Maybe it'll go away on its own. Are you mad? It won't go away, it'll just get worse. The sooner we get it out, the better. Yes, yes, you're right. This is how this is where the escort comes in. You definitely have to be following him, or he'll just get second thoughts halfway through and not actually keep going. Herbalism. Herbalism must raise various skills faster. He's reaching the end of the road. He's far enough away that he turned into that farmer man again. Hooray. Yeah, herbalism's one way to spend my time. Oh, the blacksmith, we're here. He doesn't you can't see what he's carrying, so he just looks like a lunatic. It's embarrassing. I'm a coward and I won't be able to handle it. We're almost there. Just be a man about it. You're right. Let's go. He is very easy to reassure. Alright, let's do it. Hold him tight. Let's do it. <laughs> ah look! Jesus it's Christ. out! Agony. They want to keep it as what a memento. I, I love it. This. Oh, all right. Henry, what? The sun may burn, the sun may shine, but you will not wither. I know that was our goal, but you just sound like a lunatic in that context. There he is with, with what he was carrying. What happened to Procopius? The sun he hides behind a cloud. His huh. goes cold and his fire Did he just disappear? Like he's just not around? No follow up conversation? Huh. Why not, I suppose? Kind of feels like a fable quest or something like that with how it's just sort of cartoonishly... It just sort of comes out all cartoonish and silly. Henry, I'm glad you came. I think some of the more fun moments are when the game just has a sense of humor for a while about something. Am I... not hungry yet? Not quite. A traitor's not good enough. Uh, I should have gone to the blacksmith, actually. Oh, well, I'll talk to Procopius first. Oh, this is the main street of the... Oh, this is the big profitable town, isn't it? Yeah, like, here's the armorer. I should go sell my crap off to the armorer. It's been a little while. Not lockpicking, I want to talk to the guy who works here and... Oh, there we go. Hello. Howdy doody. Come here often? This is my gear, right? The good stuff? Not entirely. Let's see. Horse can't carry anymore. Shit. Is this my good stuff or does the horse have my good stuff right now? Ah, uh, fuck. Uh, let's just move it all to my inventory and I'll try to put on everything that has better stats. I, I kind of hate using the inventory in this game all the time. Like, like every single time I'm like, I don't like this. There's no way to, like, favorite stuff or tag things as being like, that's my gear versus, uh, loot. Like, the game doesn't... It almost doesn't seem built sometimes for the idea that you'd want to, like, loot stuff and sell it. Because there's no way to separate them, and you wear, like... Oh my goodness, how many slots is that? Yeah, I'm not crazy. There's 20 equipment slots in this game. 20! So you have to keep track of which 20 items are the ones you're keeping and which ones are the ones you're selling, and that's full-on crazy. No, not steal. Talk to the man. There we go. What do you need? 
mostly what I need is to uh, have less heavy crap in my inventory that I can't uh, afford to keep around. And also I need to very carefully not sell off my cosmetic items or else I'll be in trubs. Did I do it? None of those seem... Yeah, none of those seem like things I'd want to keep. Do you have anything really cool? A short noble halberd. Noteworthy spike of stats. Affordable. Let's look at your most expensive items. Under the vague assumption that the expensive ones are probably the best ones. Unless you're just overcharging massively. That only gives me, like, an extra point here and there. So while it is expensive, it's not an upgrade that much. Those pauldrons are nice, though. Look at those. Ten more arm armor on most categories, basically. Kind of badass. 3.1k. kind of expensive too it is the weakest piece of armor on my character the alternative is just to continue to accept my current amount of money and just see if I can find better stuff along the way and just enjoy having a bunch of money so that whenever something comes up where I need money I can let's just do that let's just enjoy having my money and so whenever I I'd like to discuss the price whenever I'm in a situation well, where I need money I'll be like well I have money so what a coincidence good job me What about this? Close. Drop the price a bit more and we'll shake on it. Aye, that would do it. There we go. Got like 9,000. I mean, 900. 4.2k. And my, I'm so heavy I can't walk around right now. Is it excessive weapons? I only have piercer. And a bunch of arrows, admittedly. Two bows. Should be able to use you again now, right? Let's get Ashbow back on my horse. For starters. And my horse is overburdened. Yeah, the male pants actually seem to be an, an upgrade for my physical appearance. I wish you could sort by charisma. Is anything weak? 16, 16. 20, 11. 13. Seems like the brown jacket brings my average down. But is it better to have it empty or to have a better average charisma? That's one of those questions I, I don't have the answer for, frankly. So I can walk around now? Yeah, we're good. And my horse is all full up. So there's that. Let's talk to our lunatic friend again. Welcome, Henry. Welcome, pilgrim. I went to look for those items you wanted. Splendid! Splendid! So, show me what you've got, lad. The Tooth of Layman Procopius? Which definitely isn't holy. It isn't. But then again, one day, it could be. You never know what course a man's life might take. I suppose not. But it wasn't easy to get. So if anyone's the miracle worker here, it's me. 
Calm now. Don't exaggerate. That will be all for now. Would you teach me more about alchemy? Certainly. I'll be with you, Henry. I'm interested in more advanced techniques. All right, but it'll cost you. Now, pay close attention. Yeah, you level up. Have I, have I level 10 with alchemy yet? I'm not close, am I? No, I'm thinking of herbalism, which is, is the one that's much, much closer. Access to new skill, though? Or was that already there? Yeah, it's that I wasn't super interested in these skills necessarily. Same with the agility thing, I, I think. So I'm level 11. Got that going for me. I think I need to talk to him again before I get the next miracle request. Welcome, pilgrim. About those other things you wanted from me. This topping out, what's that? <laughs> You're not a carpenter, it seems. No, I'm a blacksmith. I see. Well, uh, a topping out is a decorated spruce or a conifer tree hung on top of the roof of a new house to bring good fortune and God's blessing. Well, then all we need to do is break off a branch somewhere, buy a few ribbons, and we've got our own homemade topping out right there. You don't understand, young man. The topping out was sanctified by a priest, and it hangs on the highest church far and wide. You can't just replace it with a decorated branch. Fair enough. That topping off is hung pretty high, isn't it? Naturally. It hangs on the rooftop according to tradition, and the church is tall. And how am I supposed to get it down? Damned if I know. But they had to get it up there somehow, didn't they? God be with you, Henry. Very well. I'll get it. I'll get looking for those things, then. Excellent! You do that, my journeyman. Good luck. Figure I'll keep doing them one by one, right? He said the, ch the... He said it was on the top of the church that's highest nearby. It's probably the one here, right? Yeah. It's the local church. They love me there, and me trying to steal stuff from there. <laughs> this may not go over so well. There's a topping out. Yeah, another thing the charlatan wants is a branch from the topping out on the church on a church roof. Maybe it'll be easy to find. Whew, I was just up there. Only one way to figure it out. Unfortunately, it means a lot of climbing those ladders again. The only thing we know about it, though, is that it's on the roof. And the, the only way I see to be on the roof is the way I've been on there before. It's no small journey. <laughs> And you have to go back down. Because you can't fast travel from weird spots like being up here. Not exactly zip lines like in some Ubisoft games. Whoa. Okay, that was weird. He figured it out, though. Is that just what happens when you hit use ladder from behind? Yep. If you press it behind the ladder, the game just kind of freaks out a bit. Figures it out eventually. Oh, there it is. 
This seems safe. It's no big deal, it's just, if you fall, you die. Easy peasy. Easiest of peasies. Oh shit. Yeah, that would be me, me, me dying if that wasn't clear. I know it shocked everyone, and no one saw it coming. Super dead. We'll give it another go. Uh, awkward. I'm trying to get a running start of like trying to land just right because I, I don't think I can stand on the beam. Maybe you can. No, this you can't come over from over here and walk along it. No, I did it. Final boss fight of the entire game. This one fence thing. I mean, I can't reach it from here, but that's clearly it. What? Can I not land on that? Is there not a hitbox on that thing? Do I have to stand on- do I- am I supposed to stand on the railing and then just kind of reach out towards it or something? I'm starting to think I can't do otherwise. Oh Jesus, this is an ordeal. It. It. Can you even stand on it, or do you always fall off on one side or the other? Alright. Can I just have it, please? You know what? Pull that bow out. Oh, I don't have a bow equipped. Maybe I can shoot it down. That's a miss. Another miss. That was probably a hit. So it probably doesn't work. What am I stuck on? These guys? Just looking for any sort of local trick that'll help me out here. Uh. <laughs> what do you want from me? How do I grab it? You would think you're just supposed to walk out along the post. But I can't seem to tut get on it. It's like the most inconvenient possible spot because it sticks out behind this big old piece of hitbox. That's just so unuseful. God damn, man. Huh? No. God damn it. Yay. There's just no way they actually expect me to grab that. Try this again. And shoot the thing itself? I'm just at wit's end right now. Fucking stop getting stuck on everything. Holy shit. He doesn't feel like he's designed to traverse the environments he's put in in this game. Come on, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I I hate this. <laughs> I hate this. I can't I'm so baffled right now what they want from me. But I know that dying over and over again sure is not fun in the process. If I jump straight at it, can I even grab it, even if I'm falling to my death? Like, can I even physically touch it?
God damn it. I just... <laughs> uh, I just want to do a quest today. I've already given up on the Necronomicon quest. I just... I want to succeed at something today. Just let me succeed at something. Uh, grab it? No? I'm gonna leave a save right here. On top of the wall. That's how... These are gonna go. Okay, there's not a hitbox on that. How could you do that? How could you make a ledge that points at the thing that you're supposed to get and then have it be uh, no hitbox? Did they test this quest at all? It's realistic. This game's realistic. Look at the magical phantom shit. <laughs> How did they hang it up? You think that they must have stood on that shit while like leaning on the wall or something in order to grab that. But like... It's not solid, so how did they even do it? What do you want from me? I'm gonna kill somebody on accident at this rate. Can't, can't tell where I'm aiming. I just want you to fall. Please fall. I just want to cut the rope. I'm hitting it dead on. Am I being reported now? That's fine. No one needs to know. I'm Tom Cruise from Live, Die, Repeat. <laughs> Nothing matters anymore. Alright, well I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna stop doing side quests for a little while and just do the main story for a bit. And I don't know, maybe we'll give up and just do the main story for the rest of the game and then end the series. Just go beat the game and call it quits. I, uh... Boy, oh boy. <laughs> Today is just breaking my spirit on, like, not, not being able to get the Necronomicon and now, like, this quest is like, what do you want from me? Just what do you, what do you want from me?